Okay, that is Bogdan cracking me up off set. All right, I have to tell everybody, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the follows. I don't even know what's going on here. Toaster on fire. Last miles. Going for a four-month sub. All sorts of records. This is just nuts. We have power hacker extraordinaire Bogdan tonight. Now, Bogdan is... The kind of guy who, when I came along and said, I'm going to go throw like Netflix on the original Nintendo, he's like 80s, whatever. I'm going back to the start of television. I'm going to go to the 60s with a tube, and I'm going to put Netflix on that. So, guy, I will see you there. <laughs> and so, without further ado, because, boy, he really did something pretty awesome there. Bogdan, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. Thanks, All guy, right. for having me. Well... We have him here up on the screen. Uh, Last Miles is telling us that we have a raid incoming of about 50. Let me know when. Uh, well, go when. <laughs> there you go. We're up on the screen. So uh, you are live. That was a picture of your basement earlier tonight. That was that was where you're, you're broadcasting from, your hacker paradise. What What is that? Yeah, uh, hacker paradise. Basements are not very common in this part of California. But uh, yeah, we have this old house and uh got this little sub basement for like utility like water heater softener thing nice. and i transformed it into a little hacker paradise like i like did thing. not have a I, yeah i had no basement actually yeah when i was when i was living in california i you know i did that is strange i never even thought about that but um for those of you who do like to have a drink bogdan and i both decided tonight's going to be a wine night so cheers to everybody um Enjoy, hydrate, do whatever you like. Yes, HK Cupcake, uh, who you actually know as the wife of the hacker from last week, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> mm. Cheers. And just in honor of you, by the way, Bogdan, I threw, look at this glass. This is, this is a legit. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's in honor of you. So I, I, I went and dug it out. Like just, and actually that, you know, it's funny that I, I mentioned that because that also in your honor, I don't know if you know about this, a little, little surprise I have for you tonight. This is not just a gray shirt. This is a special gray what? shirt. What? What? <laughs> oh no. What? Oh, Do that's you... amazing. That's awesome. Do you do you remember what this came from? I don't. I you were there. You were definitely there. Is that at the Akira? Time. That is Akira. Nice. Yeah. That. Can you tell them what Akira? I mean, what is Akira? Um. You mean like the code name or the actual? Well, what is? Where did this shirt come from? <laughs> um, I'm trying to jog my memory because like the Akira name is like so muddied with. Uh, oh well. Let me jog. Let me jog. Yeah. There was there yeah. was some there was some web. So for those of you at home, uh, Bogdan was on the web team when I first joined Netflix. And you you did did you start on the web team at Netflix? Um, yeah, I did a little stint on Xbox One, but uh, yeah, it was primarily the web team. And yeah, okay, Akira Web, yes. Yeah, was. yeah, Akira. Yeah. Now, by the yep. time I came, I came a bit after you. When, when did you join? You you joined during Quickster or before that? No, no, no. I was definitely after Quickster. It was uh, 2014. <laughs> oh, so you actually uh, no, came after me. Yeah, no, it must have been 2013. Because yeah. I felt like yeah. you you had already been there forever. I mean, because everyone who's there when you join a company, you feel like it's forever, right? You know, like yeah. not, clearly they were there in the beginning. <laughs> so the roof doesn't even have a pool. What? Yeah, uh, wow. Okay, they're having a little fun in there. <laughs> That's, I have not. Yeah, true what fact. I have not actually watched the movie Hackers, and I feel like I'm just—I'm not a hacker. I guess I. Is you that, haven't watched Hackers? I haven't. I have ever. You've watched Hackers, though. Oh come on! They have their sprinkler system in the high school hooked up to like a computer, and like. It's I all, approve of that. For some reason, they hacked in and they set off the sprinklers because I'm. I sense. I approve of that. I do, and you actually are something of a hardware aficionado. Speaking of integration with hacking and sprinklers, and I mean, what do you do with all those tools and? The ESP magic that you first, you're the first one to introduce me to this, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you want to cut to the other video? Or ah, you? let's not do that yet. I, you know what? I, right, here, I'll, I'll just show it to you. It's okay. uh, this little nightlight thing. It's from Ikea. Oh, yeah. Um, and I put a little ESP chip in there. <laughs> I'm trying to crack it open. Um, but basically, all it does, it's really dumb. It's, uh, and this is actually really useful. Now, I, I made this a couple years ago. Um, oh yeah, this looks like a fire hazard. 
<laughs> so, not not for work stuff, not, right? Which is probably fine. Yeah, uh, it's totally fine. I'm sure. Yeah, see, it's totally insulated by by electrical tape, which is you know fine, right? Oh yeah, the RGB LED on it, um, and uh, all it does is really just ping like the local uh, air quality service to tell me if it's like good, moderate, bad, unhealthy. Okay. Um, and it changes the colors based on what the air quality is. And that... for the past few weeks here, it's been red or purple. Red um, in California. And that has to do with yeah. all of the fun with the fires, right? Yeah. So just today, it turned green this for the first time in a, in a couple of weeks. This just morning. for a awesome. brief moment, we got a little bit of green. <laughs> so, so, well, very I can... handy today. I can tell you that the East Coast welcomes you gladly anytime you uh, want to not be on fire. <laughs> but electrical tape insulation, absolutely up to code. Nightshade Dude says, Nightshade Dude, you, you're going to get banned. You keep this up tonight. <laughs> so he's just unmod me because I didn't watch Hackers, by the way, just, just to let you know. Last Miles, by the way, Carabia is the ultimate graybeard. So last miles, uh, he he hacks some. He actually just built like an arm version of Debian with like the latest. Like uh, he was in a special kind of hell. I made sure to buy him beer. Like I'm like, listen, drop by the stream. I'm buying the beer tonight. <laughs> so I dropped him a bunch of bits, and you know, he, I think he's feeling a little bit better now. <laughs> so, all right. Let's let's get down to hackery. When when did you so at 20, 2013, 2014 you started you you started at Netflix, but when did you go to your first hack day? Um actually it was like I think it was my first week actually. Um this designer, Sam Horner, um, he uh he approached me like, Hey, you want to do hack? I'm like, uh, I have no idea what the hell this is. I'm like, Yeah, sure, let's do it. <laughs> um and that was a Fitbit hack. Um, and that was like, like this is awesome. I, I joined Netflix and I made all this press because some designer dude came up to me and wanted to do this thing. Um, so yeah, that, that was like my first uh, intro to, to Hack Day. It was amazing. And that was the Fitbit was the first one. Yeah. Fitbit okay. I, one. I totally put these in the wrong order. I guess we should have cut to the, why don't we cut to the Fitbit first then? Why? Maybe. Yeah. Is that? Oh is that the right thing to do? I mean, I, I feel like all I right. guess you said it let's, like we'll just wing it. Let's just yeah. All right, you know what? We're we're gonna do that. We're gonna. This is actually what Bogdan is talking about. This is Netflix staffers hack Fitbit to detect sleep and pause video. So what what is this? What is this Fitbit doing? You had a Fitbit. Sam had a Fitbit. You guys said I'm having a problem remembering where the hell I am in an episode or what? what how does this work? Uh, yeah, so like, the whole point of it was like, hey, and yeah, I won't do the English accent because you'll probably slap me afterwards. But, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Feel free. That's okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I need some more glasses of wine for that one to, to come out properly. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, but no, it, uh, it was like, you know, you watch Netflix and you fall asleep and then you wake up like the next morning, you're already like six episodes in, like, you know, it wouldn't be nice if it just like paused where you were and then you can pick up the next morning. Um, so that's where the inspiration came from. Um, and for this hack, uh, like all hacks, um, we didn't quite actually get the hacking the Fitbit to do it, what we wanted it to do. Um, <laughs> like all I hacks. I had to fake the video. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I shouldn't say all hacks, most hacks. Um, yeah, no, most so hacks. Yeah. Get into. That one actually worked uh, for the brief moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Fantastic. Uh, yeah, but no, that's how this 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 whole thing happened. It was uh, it's like wouldn't it be cool if we just uh, did this? Um, and then yeah, it would be cool. But like those articles, they were all uh, kind of you know editorial creative freedom with yeah. uh, you know how we got it. I work, mean, but, uh, this is know. CBS News. This is a bastion of editorial quality here. I mean, th this I never made CBS News. This is pretty awesome for like you know a first time on a hack day. I mean, isn't it? It is. It is pretty awesome. But like at the time, like oh my god, we're like getting so much press from this, and I I took a bunch of screenshots of like Reddit, Hacker News, like all these other uh, bookmarked a bunch of uh, news articles. Uh, I remember Sam's like, oh, I sent a bunch of links to my mom. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty exciting. That is. That was a Terrible that is life. sweet. I, it took me a long time. Well, first of all, I never made CBS News. But <laughs> that, did you actually win for this? I, I know I have to ask. I mean, did you actually? No. 
We so this was win. a losing hack. This it was a losing hack, but in my book, it won because we got like so much press out of it. And I feel, which I feel the same way. I feel absolutely the same way. You know, I'm biased on that. But I, I actually saw this. And I thought this was super cool. And in terms of the fact, that, well, actually, you know what? Let's just let's watch this amazing video. Let's. let's oh no! Oh, can I we, haven't seen this in like five years or can six we, years. Are we are we allowed to just yeah. pull oh that up? God. Is that Wait, it's, it's public? I guess. Yeah. Why not? There. There. Wow. wow. In this Chat, let me know how the audio is coming. Fitbit device to communicate when a Netflix user falls asleep. As a Fitbit you have audio? I do. I do have audio. Data to its API that can be collected by any Touch kind of low. Device. By using this prompt, Netflix can smoothly fade back audio and offer on-screen prompts for when the user may awaken. Looks like you <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> When the user returns to Netflix, Netflix oh, we have Breaking Bad prompts and options so a user can continue to watch their playback. Oh, that space in the S one. Oh, oh man! Oh, you were on TV at the oh, time. Oh man. man, I don't want to talk about that space. <laughs> that space is so wrong. I'm sorry. That's that's trigger. You should have told me it was a trigger warning. I mean, it's like I. I have some serious issues with that space. You do not put spaces in time codes, okay? I don't care that normally you put a space after a colon. It's a time code. It's like a biblical reference. It's book. All right, whatever. I'm not going to get on that again. Uh, Moral of yeah. story, that space doesn't belong there. But you know what? We had just run the autoplay feature. So it actually started playing every... So you would play in... You would be watching a show, and then you got to the end of the episode. It would play the next episode. We had just made that a product launch. And we didn't know how long to run that. Like, do you run that for a show? Do you run that for the rest of life? Do you do you just keep playing forever? And I remember that we had a ton of calls coming in on customer service for people asking, where did I leave off on my show? And that's not good, right? I mean, you know, we we're paid for every customer service call that comes in. So they're all calling in going, I was watching like, you know, something i was watching brady bunch last night and i don't know which episode i was on so can you just take netflix and rewind it to that place you know and so we would you know run in the back room and rewind the tape and you know that that basically was <laughs> right. how we handled right, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so like, so we didn't know where to stop it and you had this innovative way of knowing how to stop it we i mean this basically cut right to the heart of the matter how many episodes are the, are the right number of episodes and that's been a meme all over the internet like endlessly like like you know it's we call it the post play interrupter the autoplay interrupter it shows like you're going and again i was on tv so i know the exact part of the ui this was but it would show you know are you still watching you know yes or no and that was our only way of like not playing through you know, 10 seasons of a telenovela. Like the only way we could know was we had to like stop and ask you, which of course everyone said, Netflix, why are you judging me? <laughs> you know that, but, but you had the real answer here, but you didn't stop there. This was actually something that people could build themselves, wasn't it? Um, Kind of. Uh, so at the time, no, but then later on we did a, I think a marketing push with some, um, uh, agency where they created some socks based on this hack. Real um, socks. One, real socks. So you can, you know, off the shelf Arduino components, sensors, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not sure where the socks I, you know what? from. I, I don't remember. I mean, well, it's the socks or you're cozy, you're at home, you got the socks. You're Yeah, but we have some Netflix branded stuff. But I don't think we actually sold anything like that. I think this, it was. This is it. I see the socks in the picture. Yeah. I mean, they're. Yeah. In partnership with Netflix, there's the Pinot Noir. We're drinking, we're drinking wine tonight. They have the wine colored socks. I didn't and, even put two and two together. That's appropriate. <laughs> 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 yes. And so we actually had the full, like, and, and then if people want to make this themselves, we actually, you, you, you built a website for this. This is off the legit Netflix domain. I have the link right I here. I didn't build it. I, 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 it got built make it dot netflix dot com i don't have a make it dot netflix dot com i should have done a make it dot netflix dot there's the netflix socks netflix the socks did not build it 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 looks very look at this look at these components here look at this look at this what what is this there's a heat sink there's there's this looks like a legit proto board here i i'm i'm what i'm seeing it i have to say that that those are the socks 
part socks, part clever. I'm going to give you part socks and part clever. So yeah, this one actually worked differently. This one uh, worked only with a TV, if I recall. Um, I didn't design this one, um, but yeah, I used an IR blaster, if I recall correctly, and it just pauses your TV or the stream. Yeah, I, and I think last miles is correct. Oh no, sorry. We'll see. Dot Dot Canada. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it was ESP eight. Six eight two six six based. Uh, I don't for know if... the socks. No, it wasn't. Oh. Um, it was just an art. I think it was a some sort of Arduino board. Um, crap. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Sorry um, about that toaster. By the way. Uh. Last miles. I don't know what's going on with your audio. I think everybody else, everybody else is hearing this, right? Oh, it's Arduino Nano. That's what it was. I think Arduino Nano. Okay. Yeah, I think I think chat. They're hearing it. I don't know why it's not coming through for you, Last Miles. I don't know what to tell you there. Um, so just, I mean, chat. If you really can't hear it, let me know. <laughs> I mean, like if it. Okay, audios. All right, we're getting we're getting multiple audios are fine. So I I. I, I know you don't normally reboot a Linux box last miles, but you might have to do it this time. <laughs> okay. Um, I did drop the link in there. So if those of you who want to build socks at home, yep, yeah, feel free. Go right ahead. This is yeah, the man. I think it's one of these guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks exactly right. Yeah, it looks like it. I never actually built this one. Yeah. Oh, that's, by the way, Wub Dub Dub. That's Alex, by the way. So. Oh, that, yeah, Alex, <laughs> yeah. Long time no see. Yeah. Um, well, we actually had. Let's see. So that that you didn't stop there. I mean, you were a monster. You got a little taste of press. You, you got I the know, real win. You got. You, you were ready to do some serious hacking after that. What and then for this one. Well, I I think you threw down. I think at that point you saw my NES hack, which I also lost. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I don't. It might have been the same time as the socks. I'm not sure if those were the same hack day or not, but um, we then went on, we did the NES. And what were you thinking when you saw Netflix on the original Nintendo? I thought I was a pretty badass. I still do it like- uh, No, but you went better than that. You did me one, you did me one better. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Hooking up uh, you know, a, a TV board to a TV isn't uh, that, Genius. I, I I felt okay. I guess I guess I'm projecting here because I felt it was that genius because just just era wise, if looking at this '80s Nintendo and going, I got how did you get that? Tell it first of all. Tell us what the television is. I, I need to bring oh, up the, the, the Netflix. TV. Yeah, but you know what? Let's let's to get in the mode here. This is what Bogdan presented at the next Hack Day, and I have to tell you all his videos that. are a yeah. million times better than any of my videos. I, I got this here just for all of mm -hmm. you, so. Let's, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the most exciting new development in the history of television. Introducing the Netflix VHF. Now you can watch Netflix on your Philco Predicta, the most <laughs> advanced television of our time. And all the credit belongs to the Netflix engineers who have <laughs> developed a radically new TV interface. How do you get the V-Lock? simple knobs to choose from thousands look of Look at the knob turning! Look at this knob! Just look at the picture quality. That's all editing. That's legit Netflix that, that that's playing on there. You had a four by three aspect Netflix ratio. I remember you worked with Evan on this. The yep. thinking company Netflix. That's the best Producer it ever worked. I don't even think it worked this well during the presentation. Leave it to Frank Underwood. Oh man, I hardware hacks on stage are a nightmare. So go yeah, ahead. I, I, I still, your still have not gotten it to work. Oh, that D-Lock. Oh my god, that was such a nightmare. That's beautiful that it was rolling. That that that's perfect. Like, what do you mean? That that speaks to me. That you could not have shown a better thing. That the fact it could not hold it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna have a seizure. And Whoa! Going like crazy. We got raided. Last miles coming in with a party of forty-one. Oh. Thank you, last miles. I just showed Netflix from Bogdan here on a '60s era Philco Predicta knob turning, legit like that. Uh, that but '50s era. 50s era, 50s era. What am I thinking? 60s. What the <laughs> hell? Hello, Raiders. I hope all of you are doing great. I saw part of Last Mile's stream. I really hope he went out and bought beer with those bits <laughs> because, you know, cheers to the Raiders and cheers to Bogdan. That's. Cheers, and I'm out of wine. I got to get mm. a refill somewhere. Oh, if you got to, if you do, I mean, that, please, you know, that. <laughs> do, you, do you have a refill handy? I mean, is that. 
Um, I gotta run upstairs and like the way this. Yeah. I'll, all right. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll do that later. Well, we'll risk that later. Okay. So, um, anyway, well, if that... someone upstairs is listening. I need some wine. Okay. <laughs> if someone upstairs <laughs> is listening, please. There's somebody in the hackers' paradise down in the basement that is in need of some wine. Just, just saying. Just saying. It's clipping. So, last miles is dropping a, a terrible clip. We're gonna show that later. Don't, don't click that. <laughs> I, I might have gone off the rails a little bit last night. Um, so that is fantastic okay so anyway raiders welcome and we're gonna we're gonna show this thing because this you didn't stop there did you i mean that they actually took this 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 look at this beautiful basement i mean this is this is this is where bogdan's located I'm right getting now. Wine. all right oh wow someone upstairs did here oh that is magical nice. i gotta i gotta learn that for stream man you know i had to i had to go and get a bottle my you know what <laughs> Okay. I've got fans upstairs. That I I need I need fans upstairs. I got <laughs> Wait, I'm in the top floor. Okay, now I don't I don't need fans upstairs. Downstairs, so. downstairs. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. So, we're going to we're going to go ahead and now now we can properly cheers that. So, anyway, cheers Raiders, cheers Bogdan. Cheers. Okay. So, coming from this hackers paradise, we we went and took a look behind the scenes here and we we saw the VHF. Now I dug this up and dropped it on my blog. You've definitely seen this before. They actually wanted your Phil Co. Predicta after that hack. They saw that hack and it was so amazing to see Netflix on a 50s era television. They're like, you gotta give us that. And you, what did you say to them? I said, um, it emits x-rays. I'm not sure it, it'll pass any COVID or anything like that. And on top of that, it smells weird. Uh, too bad you can't smell it. It's in my garage now. Like, guy told me, he's like, hey, we're going to present your TV next week. I'm like, um, okay, I'll try to get it in my basement. First yes. of all, too heavy. Second of all, it's been wrapped up in plastic since I last moved. I, you know, I, 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 no I love why. that you mentioned that because that is exactly what I've got right here. This is a picture of yeah, the smell of vision from Jiggity Jane. So <laughs> she points it out. This is actually the original hack, like in, in pristine wrapped up condition. You know, it was protected. It was a very delicate setup, I remember. And actually, we you, you cracked it open. I did, yeah. Cracked and it you, open. You showed it. I promised everyone there would be tubes tonight. We obviously have the tube. That's the whole th that tube. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, look look at Lots these tubes. tubes. They're 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 legit tubes down here. I mean, this is tube heaven. This is this is running Netflix. That I just hats off to you on that. That is just a hell of a hack. <laughs> that's yeah. I, but the smell, oh my I, God, the smell. <laughs> but but Jane, tell it the whole internet is in there in all those tubes. I think she's it probably is. right about yeah, that. Probably that. Yeah. I mean that that's what's keeping the internet running. I mean I now I I have a favorite moment from this particular hack day because at this point I already knew you 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 had that like stress like from a person who's built a real hack and you're not entirely sure if it's going to work because it's real and it's legit. And it, there's that, there's that little bit of tension you get that day. You're like, Oh my God, like don't roll the cable. Like, is, did I check the connections? And it was emitting so much radiation, EM radiation that you had both of the connections for the knobs wrapped in tin foil. Yep. Didn't and work. It didn't work because it was, <laughs> <laughs> It was messing around with the uh, with the rotary encoders, like the it would just like start flipping through the because we had the rotary encoders like to yep. um to switch to like uh, vertical and horizontal. Yep. Uh, and you hooked that up. The TV UI. What was that? What was the microcontroller that, that was hooked up to? Um, shoot, I don't remember. It's like a, it wasn't a Pi. I think I think you were already in Arduino space at that. No, point. yeah, it was some Arduino. I can't remember the board. Okay. Um, Okay, so it's no, hooked it up to that. Pie, actually. I think it, it was, was a pie. pie. Yeah, because we used uh, Telnet to do all the <laughs> How did you actually, I mean, but if it was emitting that much interference, how did you like debounce it to get it to not like just soup? I mean, the pie would just burn out if you put like the kind of power that's sitting in the back of this thing. I mean, on a pie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, I think if, like most of the radiation was going through the actual rotary encoder. Um, mm -hmm. So it was like, uh, you weren't even touching it and the thing was just like emit 
uh, signals and it would pick it up in the board of the um, of the rotary encoder and pass it to the Pi. And that's what was like screwing everything up. So I right, yeah, and it would, it would bounce. Logic there, yeah. Okay, so you did that um, mostly in software. Yeah, that's all uh, mostly in software, yeah. I ran, I ran into the same issue with the Teleflix, you know, because that same same problem. Like, you know, the, the contacts on some of this old equipment, like they, they bounce, they, you yeah. know, by the time you've like, you, you really got to watch debouncing. But that this seems like a pro class in debouncing to get this thing to work. And then, you know, safety concerns aside, you know, people, they actually got a version of this that is sitting in the lobby at Netflix HQ. Yep. Yeah. So we got three of these. Um, one three of them. In, yeah, we got three of them. One in HQ, one in LA, and one in Amsterdam. I so did I've seen not all know but that. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you sign these? I feel like you should sign these. I, mean, I should have signed these. You I totally didn't. should have signed these. I want. I want to yeah. sign. All right. Anyway, these these are hard TVs to get. You got this off eBay. Everything right on eBay, or is this? Where do you find um, one of these televisions? So my old T, the original one. So this one was custom made. So we uh, we commissioned this one to, to get made. Um, and okay. uh, so the, the three copies all look the same as this one. So the okay. actual screen is a, actually a projector that projects on the back of it. Oh, uh, OK. Um, this wasn't the so Philco. It's much okay. safer. Much know. safer. <laughs> kids yeah. can play with it. <laughs> yeah, kids can play with it. Um, OK. So but yeah, the original one I did get off of eBay. Came from okay. like, I think Plano, Texas. Wow, <laughs> that's and I like I like what they did with the knobs. They moved the knobs to the front, mm -hmm. but these look like they can handle a little bit of action. So kids kids can hit this, and it'll yep. this this looks museum safe. So, all right, very yep. nice, very nice in there. Uh, Last miles, thank you for gifting a sub to Funks a lot. Wow, <laughs> that is just monster. I thought we had to talk about Jeff Bezos earlier, but thank you very much, <laughs> much appreciated. Um, so let's see, what do we got that. That was a hell of a hack, and that did the rounds on the internet. I mean, I think I think that was as it should. I mean, that was just fantastic, right? That I, was fun. I did not see a lot of hacks like that after that, but you know, this, there was you know, we did manage to get. I mean, I had to put an end to that whole racing back in time, right? I mean, that's that 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 actually, you know what? Just I'm, I'm gonna grab it real fast because I feel like. Uh -oh. What are you doing? Oh, and I, he's gone. I, yes, I feel like <laughs> I feel like you know because when you're up against competition like this, I mean, when when, when you're seeing a Philco predict a, even a modern, safer version of it, like you know, I, I felt like you know I was one step away from losing forever. So I just thought you know if I ever and I still hadn't gotten the hack award at this point. So at that point, that is exactly when. We went back to the beginning of communications, and this is the AT and T telegraph key hooked up that we hooked up to Netflix. I still have the wires on the Western Union one that we could nice. just barely manage to <laughs> get to work. But and I again, same bounce problem. I it was same issue with the microcontroller. We are just analog is is a lost art these days. I mean, analog electronics lost Didn't art. I, yeah, it's just just a bit of a lost art. Okay, so. They are calling out making burgers and barbecue. That sounds great with beer. Last miles, grab me one. <laughs> analog is art. I totally agree. Okay, so from there, we stayed analog, though, because you have something hiding behind you that actually hooks. Now, now some of us joke about, and I, I want to say it was 418. Is, is, it, is 418 the actual message that's that's on the internet i feel like that's the oh legit. i'm a teapot i am a teapot is it? yep and oh, maybe yep i feel like it is the 418 i'm done uh, you know what we can we can confirm it let's, let's let's just take a look we don't want to mislead anybody here coding on some guy right this is the uh it's actually from the htc pcp uh but I, we're gonna get to that in a sec i am a teapot http code and that I feel like it is the 418. Okay, so that originally came from the hypertext coffee pot control protocol. Because if you need to be able to run coffee pots over the internet and check on their status over the HTCPCP, you need RFC, and this this is legitimately RFC 2324, um, which is the the hypertext coffee pot control protocol, <laughs> and 
if you're going to control a coffee pot over the internet, you have to make sure that it is not a teapot. And that's actually where, you know, I am. So this this is where the tea, yep, I'm a team pot, 418. This is its original standardization. But you knew this because you had an actual coffee machine that got electronified. Now, it wasn't, this was the first step. This was the grinding aspect. But do you have that here for us to see today? I do. You, you, you want me to show it to you? I, I can. I kind of would love to see it, but I, right. I, I think we're okay. Let me um, let me make that larger for everybody to see. Um, so we're gonna just. No, I need a haircut. <laughs> so... Oh my god! All right. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this. That's All right, what. So... All right, hold on one second. I just have a. Six... It doesn't make coffee, by the way. 100. It just grinds it. And I'm gonna just cut this over so you can all see this better. Um, this is the grinder here on screen. I'm, I'm gonna just stay back from this. All right, oh, yeah, there's a the grinder. There's the rotary encoder. Oh, let's say six, eight minute grind. Uh, eight, six too minute. long, too long, too long. Let's do a uh, uh, nine second. Nine, nine second grind. This is all because I'm too cheap to get a grinder with an actual timer in it. So I <laughs> put one in and uh, using a, a USB cable. Can we watch that <laughs> countdown? Do we have enough? Can we Can we actually see the countdown on yeah, it when it's yeah. going? Yeah, let's, let's do that, yeah. I, I feel... There's... And you use the push button to start it. Yeah, it's, it's simple. Oh, nice. That is just a beauty. And then cut. Perfect. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> that is just amazing. So tell, tell, us, tell us about this. How, how did you do it? How did I do it? Um, so I actually used uh, the Nano, the Arduino Nano for this one. So it's not internet enabled. But okay. I did originally prototype it on an ESP8266. So guy, okay. we could have had this, you know, you put the button at your end and you know, get this going we are next time next that we, we're gonna bring that back because i feel yeah. like that that needs to happen so we we can let's cut back to you let's, I'm... <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right and i'm just gonna bring that back over here so we are that is that is some legit hackery there i i i you didn't want to buy it right that was the, you channeled it from there <laughs> i didn't want to buy a a new grinder that did proper <laughs> dosing, um, so I put a timer in there. Now, I, I see that the Alt F4 stream has shown up here today, and I think the main question that's going to be, I'm going to just channel a little, little ESP from him, um, and I think the main question that's going to be on his mind is, is it running JavaScript? Uh, the ESP no is not running JavaScript, actually. Oh, so we don't have any Node oh. MCU. There's no... no. There's no... <laughs> That Alt no F4 JavaScript. is going to be very upset. He's got a whole microservices orchestrator set up. Uh, Quirk is very cool. By the way, for those of you who haven't seen him, it just, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get that to work with JavaScript. And I have seen him doing a lot of Go streaming as well. So, all right, but I'm guessing we don't have Go support either. That we could probably craft something in a systems language, but um, last miles, we'll see you in a little bit. Uh, enjoy the beer and burger <laughs> so we are going to beer and burger oh uh, yeah the alt f4 by the way we, is definitely another hacker we're gonna have to get on on stream at some point so actually we could all work on our htcp cp implementation i feel okay. like that 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 we, we could get that happening okay so um that he's gonna want to learn launch it in like a microservice thing so like it's gonna be nice we're, we're gonna we're gonna build it a little more complicated than we than we want i started a hardware project today he <laughs> says definitely rust we have some rust trolls that love to hang out here so i'm not going to talk about that all right so that is a non-conforming 
so we're just gonna have to say that that at the moment is a non-conforming RFC 2324 implementation. But we're 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 getting there, and we're gonna announce that it's not a teapot. It's actually not a coffee machine either. So I don't know if we have an error code Man. for that. So. I am a coffee grinder. I am a coffee grinder. I'm a 419. <laughs> 419. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> that's the 419. Okay, we got to make sure that's not taken. <laughs> it seems, seems pretty close sure it is. Okay, um, so. But then, you know, just I, you know, there was there was another great hack, the greatest hack that I feel that the wor world never saw, and we did show it briefly last time um, with with Alex and Karenina. But you actually were part of that team, and oh, yeah. that was one of the first times we got to hack together. I'm sad that we did not get to do this more often, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring that up because that it's the first and only time guy I'm, I'm still heartbroken that i i am still heartbroken i am still heartbroken the one time we really had the stars aligned i remember my cousin was getting married and i asked him i was like your marriage is on hack day like we, like <laughs> is there any way you could move it <laughs> and he was not thrilled but anyway i i did want to hack my, my head was in the game and then you know I, I wasn't around for more hack days then then you know everything else happened but um this is this is it here we have it in the gallery this was the the pi ui that we were both suffering with you remember that we had that touch screen this is the clock for those yep. of you who don't know the clock was a gift to um red gerard who was an olympic snowboarder who slept through his alarm because he was binging Netflix the night before. And after speaking to some people on social in, in our social team, I said, you know what, we could build a clock if you can send it to Red Gerard. And they said, oh my God, yes, that'll be just amazing. And we'll make a special custom bespoke Netflix clock. And so I assembled the greatest group of hackers that I could find. Like I just, just what I went to right off the top of my head, I said, okay, Bogdan, Alex, Karenina, Francois had his laser cutter. I'm like, we need to get in a room and we need to build a clock. Now, none of us had built clocks before. You don't have any music for this? I, yeah, I know. It's totally, it's totally does need some music. You son of a bitch. You know what? I, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet you there. We're gonna, we're gonna get a little bit of slow funk for that. So, the time was a weekend. We managed to hack all the way through that weekend. We had a touch screen bug where if you touch this thing, I have a feeling the music's a little bit loud. <laughs> so, um, and we just hacked all the way through this weekend and we just built the clock. And when you touch the screen to try to like set the numbers because we were trying to build that like touch stuff, I remember it like jumped by like a hundred <laughs> or like, you know, 74, like all sorts of debounce crap because we were, I was having some hardware issues and you hadn't built your grinder yet and we were just suffering with it. But we did a little bit of debugging and we got there. The whole team was there. There's Bogdan. Just we were all tired. I mean, it was, it was, it was a tough weekend. But we um, and then you went off, and this is one of my favorite moments in this hack. And I think I think you need to tell it. So first of all, you told us about this. Well, this was our our plate that we put on the top, and I was miserable at the point where we had that touch bug. But you told us about these boxes, and oh yeah, I don't no, remember pelican boxes. Pelican box. Okay, yeah. so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we gotta hear Bogdan, so I'm gonna have to turn this back up. But um, you, what, what a Pelican box? This is normally for camera equipment? Um, yeah, anything. You can customize them to fit any form you want, basically. Um, but yeah, they, they look pretty legit, like straight out of a movie. You put anything in a Pelican box, it looks official, really important and expensive. You gotta put it in there, you gotta protect it. I mean, these things are like, bulletproof on well not literally but uh you know waterproof i uh, throw them in the ocean you know they'll they'll survive yes um, yes no, this these, is... are, these are they just look really legit they're and awesome and we we didn't know if it was going to be safe enough in transit but you know it we we did this this is it packaged up with a readme we wanted that alice in wonderland kind of look and that that was the only one in the world and actually that's wubba dub dub chilling out right there wondering how we're going to pack this thing with francois you know I, I i was a little bit skeptical myself but there there was our original ui treatment but th by the way this is our 
just in case you were binging, we were non-judgmental. We were, we were, <laughs> I wanted to tie it to that Fitbit thing, but that didn't really make much sense, right? You know, the Fitbit, like if you're awake uh, or like sleeping, because like you're awake, you're, you're not sleeping. Right? I mean, this is like the other end of that. So, uh, Jane, no, Francois actually has the, the laser cutter in his kitchen. So he has, he just has a laser cutter in his kitchen. And, um, I think, I think we caused a few marital issues with some of our hacks, but anyway, um, there were, there were arguments, but you know, we got through it. And um, this, but but this, I, I still want to focus on on this part because we had no idea what to put on this box, and then, and you're just sort of chilling there, and you're going, you know what? And I couldn't find the picture. Try as I might, Bogdan throws on the skull cap, and just he goes, you know what? Pulls out like a can of red spray paint, takes this box, and he goes, I'll be back. <laughs> so you just you took off. <laughs> what what happened? What happened off screen? Like I don't, I don't understand how you I got these pictures of this. Uh, no, yeah, like so. Francois cut this uh, the the stencil with the with the laser printer. Sorry, uh, cutter, not printer. Uh, the laser cutter. Um, and I ran over to uh, some art supply shop that's now since closed down, but they had the the close enough red. Um, so anyway, we, like, rush back to work. Uh, we're at the <laughs> office where everybody's at. Um, then I'm outside on the lawn, trying not to make a mess of anything. Um, you have security kind of like running around, like, like spray paint can. What, like, what are you doing with on? this spray paint can um, and a pelican yeah. box, sir? You clearly yeah, must be a Netflix like employee. <laughs> Ten or eleven at night or something like that. So yeah, you know, it's not normal business skull cap. hours or anything. Yeah, with the skull cap. Yeah. Yes. Did uh, I forgot about that? Yeah. I, I don't know how. I, I wish I had that picture. I looked everywhere. I looked everywhere for that picture. I could not find. Well, but dub dub, you don't happen to have that picture do he might actually have the, the role as well but maybe you should contact security they might have it security almost definitely <laughs> has it but it would probably be hard to get from security uh just a quick note uncle bill drone thank you for the follow much appreciated that is awesome the, the pelican box is well known i i didn't know it but you knew exactly this was yeah. this said one of a kind there's one in the world netflix alarm clock i mean this, this said it this screamed it i mean and then you got that you're worried about there's a little bit of bleed on the end i was like dude i've never lettered so well in my life <laughs> Just, i don't know yeah i mean it still looks pretty bad from here i loved it i, I, I mean look, yeah it looks good but you know all right oh. i I just wanted to. I remember walking around with Wubba Dub Dub, just like just walking around with that case. I was like, you know what? I, I'm just gonna walk around. Like, like oh, Mike Myers I handcuffs to it. Oh, that would have yeah, no, I, I was. I wish I had handcuffs. That would have been perfect. Like, I just, just, just walk around campus with What's this in the box guy. What's in the box? <laughs> yeah, I remember that was totally awesome. Wubba Dub Dub's with me. We're all like kind of like you know. I think he's like holding a multimeter. Like it just, it looked highly suspect. Whatever we were doing, you know, like it just. <laughs> he said what picture to the screen? I there, there's a picture. Uh, no, Jane. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say that. Uh, there is a picture of Bogdan in the skull cap with the spray can. Like, just I, I couldn't find. I, it just has a viva la resistance to it. Like, we'll, I, we'll just have to believe you. Take you for a word, yeah. Doesn't matter which is the case. That does have press. <laughs> All right, you're gonna everyone. I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to believe me. Yeah. All right, and then I had as a last quick hack. I'm just going to show a tiny little tease. You worked again with Evan on this. It was really a power team. You, Evan, Sam. I mean, it was it was some tough competition until we wanted to join forces, and then I got it wrong. And this was a little bit of mood lighting. Again, probably needs the oh, funk. Man. Probably needs Actually, the funk. The funk. You have the funk. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna let the funk go. So. We're just, we're gonna pull the funk and take a quick look at the hue. And this was a Philips hue hooked up to Netflix, changing color based on what's on screen. So as you would see, like stuff that was happening on screen, it would tell the hue what to do. And while browsing the gallery, as this color changes, you see everything's changing. I don't know if that stuff's supposed to be on that whiteboard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You should all be like, looking at that. Feel like you erase that. What is that? <laughs> and it would change as the scenes change. You both sit inside your existing light fixtures and be 
because we control the light from within the Netflix app, Perfect. any device that runs Netflix is almost cool. Green for the Pokemon. You put him in a Pokemon suit. That was for another hack. Oh, that was different. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I think you and me have probably lost more hacks than, <laughs> than anybody. <laughs> but, and there's Kevin, by the way. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk to Kevin later. But um, so that was just just some great stuff there. Is that like what was like your favorite? Like, and, and by the way, I'm not biased. I'm gonna stop the funk for this one. But I'm not biased. What was what was your favorite hack? Like, just or actually, you know what? Not not favorite. I, I'm gonna ask a different question. What was like the most challenging hack and you really didn't think it was going to work, but you managed to get on stage and it did? Um, probably the last one that you showed, the, the hue. That one actually worked uh, as expected. It had the wow factor. You played live video and uh, the colors just changed in real time. It was amazing. That one was the best one. But that was a late night hack, right? I mean, you didn't, that, that, you didn't just walk into that one. Like I remember... You guys were there at like two in the morning. I mean, that was like one of the only people in the office still hacking. And yeah, were... it was a pretty late morning. Yeah. Yeah, that it was, was early morning. Early. I don't know. It wraps around yeah. at that. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, no, it was that was a that was a pretty serious like night. I mean, it was, but but it worked. You got on stage. You showed it. It worked. That had to feel good. No, it, it felt really good. Um, yeah. So it took took a long time. I think the most effort like with all of these is like cutting the video and that's where oh, Evan yeah. totally burned <laughs> the midnight oil on. I was like, okay, this works now. Let's make the video. I got to submit it like within two hours because <laughs> then it won't count. Um, and then I don't think you ever touched on this, but like the most stressful part about it is you had two minutes to present this thing. So you had I did not two minutes before, uh, you know, you had two minutes while the, the current uh, presenters are presenting. Um, and then you had two minutes like behind the scenes to try to get everything set up and then wheel it out. Um, and then you have to get it working within two minutes because it's a hard cutoff. Like hard cut two off. minutes, you can't get it up. You can't. No, nope, they uh, don't care. Get it to, nope. they, they don't care. You're they off. Yep. Pull you off. They have yep, a long they... cane and everything. Pull you right off the Yeah, stage. they take you right off um, the stage. Michael yeah. Spiegelman does a good job of moving people along. like it, As tradition. He will yeah. say to them like, okay, well, you know, I know you like killed yourself building this hack, but you know, your, your time's up. Better next time. You know, yeah. I mean, that got to prepare better. I mean, and it That's is tough. <laughs> it is tough to get through that in two minutes. I mean, this, that, but I do love like one of my favorite comments here. And I, I you know, it was, oh, I, oh, I lost it. Oh, damn it. There was a, there was a, uh, there was a product request on one of these videos and I, I lost it. But they were basically saying like, could you please make this into the product like could you please support the hue? So the, oh, the, the hue yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they... uh yeah we had a lot of chatter about that one um it's like will you, will you make like a chrome extension we're like mm, no no <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work to that's another it. thing for me to support like, and you gotta no, support no. it it's like it was fun it was it. a hack and even that like it's not all fun it's it's like as as our friend ton likes to say it's type two fun you know, it's 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 not like type, type one. Yeah, it's not type one like pleasure and having fun. Fun like it's it hurts. You know, it, it, it like you are f very tired. You are viscerally worn out at the end of the session. You don't even you're delirious. You know, it, but you you feel the sense of accomplishment and it's wonderful when it like especially when it comes together. But even when it doesn't come together, it's kind of like you know I did that. Like I really put my all out there. And he calls that type two fun. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think uh, I'm more of an artist than a hacker. So you know, that's, uh, that's I think I think your your hacking is an art. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would say, but okay. So what's what's like? And I know I, I'm afraid to ask this question. I wrote it down, but I'm afraid to ask it because Wubba Dub Dub is here, and he's going to remember that I asked it. But oh no, what what was the worst hack moment like for you? Like. It, at, in this in this string of hacks like like not doesn't have to be just these i mean it could be anything at netflix where just you thought you had it maybe it wasn't working you know just ah it doesn't always work right some of this, this stuff's not easy to do no yeah i think the worst one was probably the the tv that one was just nerve-wracking i wish i had a i don't know if we have a picture of this but i just really 
vividly remember it like wheeling the tv down the sky bridge oh yeah over to the elevators going down like every little bump would like just knock something out of the tv and i remember I seeing so you, sensitive i remember seeing you and the crew walking and i just i wanted to block for you i just i was like i was like you know what i'm just gonna like make sure that no one's in the way like i'm just gonna like this thing looks so fragile it clearly was like a labor of love i mean there was a ton of work in it it just yeah that, it, was, it was bad and like you know the two minutes that we talked about earlier like just waiting there like i couldn't get it to work until like maybe a minute through like uh while we were on like um wait did i present this one anyway like a minute through like it wasn't working um then i finally got it to work and that was just like the most uh oh, that's like, amazing nerve-wracking experience like this is gonna flop and like like all the works kind of went nowhere. At least there's a video. Um, so the video is always the same. I remember one woman on stage starting her presentation and then her Apple watch was screaming that her heart rate was approaching like heart attack level. And she just showed it on camera and walked off the stage. Like, I mean, like it's just it's I don't very, remember that one. It's very that intense well, moment. It was, it was it was at the LA Studio Hack Day, but uh, oh, I missed it. Yeah, she. I, I was like, I, I, my heart went out to her. I was like, man, that is good on you oh, getting up great. there. You know, that just yeah, the hackers need a salute. So, all right, a um, little bit of advice. So, to anybody who really wants to get into hacking. What would be one piece of hardware that you would recommend that they pick up and, you know, get familiar with, gives them a lot of options and, you know, just opens up the space and, you know, something not too expensive. Like, so not a computer. I mean, let's, let's assume you have a computer, but like, what would you recommend? Yeah. What was some, one of your favorite, like learning tools that was, you know, had that hack sense of like creativity and fun? Yeah. So I think if you want to fall in, like in the, in between like you know extreme hacks where you have to you know roll your own assembly code versus like <laughs> something easier easier like on a well, to kind of get hack. into the space to encourage yeah, like to a, a younger base, yeah. hacker getting into it um honestly i think like <laughs> i'm gonna plug this again but esp826 yeah. is like uh really decent because it gives you like you know wi-fi so you have network capability on it there's a a ton of uh resources online for it yeah um so like there's you know, you can use it the Arduino you know, um, IDE so that's uh, you know that's also like a, a step in your favor so they make a ton of development boards based on this chipset um, mm -hmm. uh, depending on which chipset you get uh, or development board you have like a ton of uh, GPIO to plug into lots of inputs um, yep um, and, and and cheap so and if you blow it up cheap. it's okay right yeah you're... if you blow it up yeah and it's that's the other thing it's super cheap you can, like the cheapest variations that you can find are like the ESP01 doesn't give you many GPIO but it's a tiny one that I showed you in mm -hmm. this one yep. this nightlight uh, uh, hack that I did um, that one is super cheap you can find it on Amazon for like two or three dollars a piece nice. probably even cheaper if you buy in bulk if you had yeah. that kind of need on on alibaba or whatever but i, um, I actually i got an a266 um and it was it was a three pack for 12 bucks so they're they're crazy i mean <laughs> yeah you got ripped off on that one i got ripped so, off yeah. a little, little hard to set the development <laughs> kit up but the arduino yeah. it, it's you could do arduino stuff i i hooked up um micro python um, it is JavaScript friendly, so even for the Alt F four stream, like he's he's gonna be happy there. <laughs> so, but just pound for pound, that's probably your best like hack, like like something that'll like get you motivated on hacking and like you know. Yeah, I mean, I still use it now. I still turn to it and like I have these random ideas in my head. I'm like, oh, I'm just I'm gonna go to this again. Easy to prototype oh. with, not not expensive. You blow it up, so you're not afraid of it. And, everything else yeah and i burned a few of them out just because you know i try to solder like some pans on the esp01 and just kind of like fry the whole thing I'm like well i guess i'll yep it works with it crappy soldering yep. like you know <laughs> some people on this stream <laughs> have issues with um that actually yeah wub dub dub and yeah and karenina would constantly comment to be like oh guy please don't solder like just you know we'll, yeah don't solder guy got it we'll oh, we'll, we'll oh. take care of it <laughs> Wait, can I show you my original hack? Yeah. Like, uh, so my, 
Yeah, this is gonna really date me a little bit, but my my calculator. From oh my yes, <laughs> the yeah, TI like eighty. What, what what is the it? The TI eighty five. Eighty five. Um, yes, Z eighty based. Yeah, Z eighty based. Um, I'm dating that's myself. Started with like assembly. That's me um, too. That's yeah, that was one of the yeah, early, <laughs> early assembly platforms for me. Yeah, because it had that anyway, hack. You see this switch back here? Oh yeah. Turbo switch. Turbo mode. <laughs> Turbo mode. It would totally drain your battery, but like the processor speed just like sped up by like two or three X or something. Oh, I can't that's remember. Awesome. You overclocked your TI eighty five. Overclocked by TI eighty five. Chat, can I get an F for that, please? Like that. <laughs> can I just can I just get an F in the chat? I I that that is overclocking a TI eighty five. I feel like that's that. So when when yes, it worked. <laughs> it totally did. I I I think that's amazing. Um, I was going to ask if there was anything you wanted to show that you that that didn't come up here, but I feel like that TI eighty five. I mean that that's already yeah. amazing. I mean, is that do you have do you have any anything? I, I don't want to. Um, I, I don't. Yeah, you know, I kind of wish I stuck with like more of that hardware hacking early on, like I did, and I didn't really pick that up until later. But I made like I think a nice twenty bucks at the time overclocking some some other uh, friends' <laughs> calculators at the time. <laughs> Hey, buddy! Um, I'll go totally uh, set up your your, your TI eighty five. You want that to yeah. be super fast? Um, what did I say I was going to show you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, the the we have the oh, UV the, curing. Oh, the UV curing station. Yeah. Um, oh, you want should us to we cover the other camera? Yeah, yeah. The, let uh, me uh, let me put that on. Um, hold on a sec. Let me let me just get that crop fixed real quick. And this needs in. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, UV curing station. So this is for my uh, SLA 3D printer. It requires UV curing. Um, and I had a, a box, cardboard box originally with a UV light on it with a timer. Actually, it didn't even have a timer at first. I would just kind of like use a stopwatch to, to do the thing. Anyway, I got lazy. I'm like, oh, wait, I, I'm going to make a proper box out of this. Um, so I made this UV curing station. I think you buy it nice. cheaper in times of in terms of like uh, money and uh, time or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> here it is. It's uh, still using like you know the the same timer. Oh yeah, the rotary and color. Those rotary yeah, encoders. Rotary I'm color. obsessed with those. They're great. Yeah. And then you have it on the seven segment like multi seven yeah. segment. Those are so nice. Yeah. So I really like it. Simple. Just one control. Push the button. Oh yeah, light. there you go. That what 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 is Simple. what do you have in, what, what's running the rotary encoder in there? Uh, you mean that turntable thing? Uh, no, I mean uh, what what um so you have the rotary oh, encoder, how are you oh, handling yeah, the rotary, Yeah, it's uh the Arduino Nano. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um we decided to reuse what I already did for the grinder timer, so it's pretty much the same thing, just hooked up to a UV light instead. Nice. So, yeah. Very simple good. turntable is uh, solar powered, so the light powering it from the the UV light just turns a little turntable. Oh, that is great! <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that yeah. actually is moving. There you go. Yeah, it was mainly a uh, an exercise in trying to design my own box for this thing to 3D print. So that was really the the why I wanted to build it. Because yeah, I could have just used a cardboard box and and did this whole thing, but um nah, that's I really more fun, it, right yeah. yeah it's more fun to do it this way do, do you actually have the t can we see the tv is it visible while um, we have the tv no it's, no, it's in my garage you, uh, i mean okay. i can i can run out there and no nah, you don't need to one, that's but, right i mean it's up to you i mean that, that but that, you have the pictures and i and really we got the picture so that's right it, it okay stinks. okay all right yeah don't, I, don't I didn't eat in. dinner yet i still want to eat dinner that yeah okay we're gonna we're gonna leave we're gonna let that go then um cam what's up we're actually we're we're starting to wrap up here we're hello cam but you know we're we're getting ready to go i think i think we're getting to our night night i'm gonna just cut that back um while we got it to this thing so that should be better yeah it totally is okay so um we have that i mean that was an epic journey. I I I feel epic sized. Is there a word for that? Epoched. I I, I don't even know how to conjugate that. 
Epoch. Yeah, Epoch's time. Yeah, all right. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's wine. And <laughs> mm. That is just, thank you for taking us on this journey. It's much appreciated. Yep, that is fantastic. My pleasure. Yes, and uh, let's see, we had the, yeah, I think that's everything I had on the list. We talked through all that wonderful stuff. Do you want to give these boys, girls, and everybody else a uh, little message here about hacking or feeling pretty good? Hacking, just do it. Like, Just do uh, it. I mean, yeah, just, just do, do it. it. I mean, you have, I'm pretty sure you can improve your life with some sort of hackery thing in mind, like, you know, grinding coffee beans or something there is something um, that an esp8266 yeah. can help make your life better <laughs> yes um and you can yes. have guy turn it on for like guy making some coffee and just, <laughs> yes. make some coffee. we are going to build that on a future stream you're, you're gonna have, have to drop to. by yeah for we a coding stream i've already registered the domain name i've got coding with some friends.com so it's just a matter of me getting that site set up i i gotta get the multi-user pad and we gotta just go to it i i think that that's do it that's going to be great. So I want to thank everybody who dropped by tonight. I want to thank our man Bogdan, Power Hacker Extraordinaire, for showing all this wonderful stuff and taking us on a tour. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to have you on the show again. So I hope you had a good time here, Bogdan. Thanks a lot. For yeah, this was fun. Thanks. Uh, no, like, I've never done this before, so this is pretty awesome. So yeah. yeah, it's your first time on Twitch. There you go. Don't listen to Wubba Dub Dub about the car hack. We're not doing a car hack. Oh, that is, car hack. We no, should do it. He's been pushing for years. He actually got that into an article about Teleflix that they published. I want to say, they, what was that? Oh, it was the Hollywood. Uh, oh, crap. I don't know. It was a, one, of, one of the newspapers basically picked up. Wubba Dub Dub saying like, oh, yeah, we're probably going to do a car hack at some point. So I, no car hack. <laughs> All right. We're, we're going to find something. We're going to have Bogdan back. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. It is much appreciated. No, we are Wub not Dub committed. Dub, Wub Dub. No, <laughs> do not call Bogdan. That's, don't do that. All right. Well, anyway, I want to thank everybody. And, yep, stay safe. Stay, yeah, stay, keep easy in this this world yeah. and all this crazy stuff keep that's easy. going on. Um, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, drop by if you want to talk. Bogdan's actually on there. Uh, he just joined tonight. But uh, if you do want to come by, join the Discord and uh, we can talk about programming uh, and the other shows, which actually next one up is going to be on Saturday where I'm going to finish up my NES ROM that I've been actually getting ready yeah it is legit i'm gonna need that uv station because these things i got the duct tape on top of the windows but these this is actually going in a cartridge so we're what? that's that's gonna be on saturday at 3 p.m uh eastern but anyway uh anyway drop by and keep keep safe and have fun hack on right hack on all right see you everybody Cheers, everyone thanks <laughs>